Hello there and welcome to the new tab view tutorial video. So in this tutorial video, I want to show you something really, really interesting that I found today on the tab view public. So like always, I often go and pretty much on a daily basis to the tab view public to see what interesting thing is coming in. So we get to know the viz of the day and many other different visualization, which I keep showing you based on what I find interesting, right? And uh, today when I was going through this, what I really found interesting was this date calculation cheat sheet, which is created by Luke Stang. So when you open the sheet, this is how it will going to look like. So dates are one of those problems or date calculations are one of those scenarios where you will see that day in day out basis you need, especially in business dashboard or any other data set you know which has a time or a date factor into it be it a stock data or anything you know that is showing you how over a period of time things have changed now to evaluate compared to let's say previous week previous month previous year same week previous year same quarter all of those things right what you need to do is you need to write a specific calculation related to the date and Sometimes it becomes so tricky that uh, you spend hours and hours figuring out what really the right date is or right date calculation is. So that is where, you know, when I started exploring, I found it really, really helpful. Something which I would, I would definitely keep it in my bookmark to make sure that if I face any scenario, I just go over here and see something for something which is already being uh, done over here as part of the pre uh, pre-created calculation so the way it works is that what you need is you need uh, to enter whatever your date uh, field is for example you may have like a order date which we get on the superstore sales data or you have your own um, date like a ship date or financial period start date something like that right whatever the date name is you write the date over here and then you choose what do you want so you want most recent date then this is the calculation you want the current year then you click it over here what you're going to get is the calculation for current year so for example if i change my date over here as order date order date and make sure it is in brackets that way it will going to work fine when you will work on that so for example i just again change this and this time it will start giving me the order date right whatever my date column is current year this is where my current year i will going to find it similarly year prior uh, sorry prior year to date this is the calculation for prior year to date or prior year or last quarter of previous year right those scenarios where you have to keep looking at it like what's what's really happening or how do i really calculate so you have these columns days into the quarter previous quarter to date same days into current year uh, so and and so forth right you got the idea like last 52 weeks last 13 weeks which is a quarterly for quarterly basically view in in one quarter you have around 30 weeks and that's what this calculation has a relevance right similarly you can modify based on your needs and you can get whatever number you want. For example, somebody is interested in, let's say, last 20 weeks, right? So you know what do you need to do over here. You can clearly see the calculation and make it work for you. And down below, it shows basically uh, based on whatever selection we are making last 13 weeks is that's where you have the last 13 weeks, these three months, right? So these are the calculation that you had. You don't have to worry again um about uh, you know all these different types of complex calculation that are related to date so you can find this uh, sheet or find this workbook in the uh, description where you can click over the link and you can come over here also you can go to the luke profile and uh, look at some of the more interesting visualization i have been following uh, or I've been looking into the Luke's visualization from a long time. And I think uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, Luke also has a blog where he writes about the techniques, the tablet techniques and all. So make sure you look at the profile for some other inspirations as well as the blog, which is probably given on this uh, on his uh, uh, profile, right? 
So that's what I wanted to share with you and I hope you will found it useful. I find it really useful. So this is something I thought of sharing with you. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.